Okay, this is a piano lesson on the pentatonic scale. This is page four of your book. This is our first scale that we're going to use. Uh, it's a very singable scale. All right, so it has an inherent uh, singingness to it. You can sing along with it. Um, it's a great way to generate melodies, particularly over the 1-4-5 chord progression. Here's our 1, 4, 5. So a great way to practice this is to play a 1 chord in one hand and then answer it with the pentatonic scale. This is a great way to get to hear the sound of the pentatonic scale against the 145. And mind you, I'm not playing, I don't have to play two handed, I can play one hand and answer with the other. Right, so this is a great way to start getting the sound of the pentatonic scale over the 145. It's a very good scale to use in our Carib song. We have the Carib bass line. That's happening in the bass, and that can be happening over the 145 chords. And the pentatonic scale goes on top and it works really well over that bass pattern. <laughs> there are little blues there at the end. We'll get to the blues later. <laughs> anyway, um, so this is your next scale. Um, and this is a great way to generate me melodies for your penta for your the pentatonic scale is a great way to generate melodies for your Carib song. You'll notice that this is the pentatonic scale in C, the first one there. And we can use just that scale to generate our melodies for the song. I've also given you the pentatonic scale in F and the pentatonic scale in G. I could play those when the chord changes, or I could just stay within the regular pentatonic scale in C. If I were to change to the pentatonic scale with each chord, it would sound like this. So it, it, it can work, and that's why I've given me additional scales for additional study. But the most important um, scale for us is that pentatonic scale in C. Okay. 